and today we're very happy to welcome Miss Joanna Evans from Maine. Hello, my name is Joanna Evans and I am the Director of Admissions at George Stevens Academy in Blue Hill, Maine in the United States. So first, can you introduce some information about your school? I am happy to. George Stevens Academy is a school of about 300 students. Of those, 43 are international students from all over the world. We are located on the coast of Maine in a very safe and beautiful environment. So, uh, tell me the reason students should choose your school to study. Well, first of all, students come to our school, school to prepare for university at some of the United States' most selective universities and colleges. Um, but it is more than just a school. It is a community where students will be involved in many different activities and they will meet and work with people in the school, teachers, and people in the community as well. What is requirement for international students? All international students must submit the usual transcripts, math and English teacher recommendations, and a test of their English proficiency. We use this test to make sure that the student uh, will be successful at our school. We offer English as a second language instruction, so you do not have to have fluent English, but we need to understand what level of English you have. We use TOEFL Junior, TOEFL, IELTS, ITEP, Cambridge English exam. Uh, it can be any of the major standardized tests of English, but we do need a score. It is not a cut score, it is just information for us to understand where you are so that we can determine if we can support you. Uh, tell me about your school program. All right, we have um, a very nice program for international students. We have a director of residential life who works very closely with the international students. Um, every student has an academic advisor and also a residential life advisor. And they meet with these people every week uh, to make sure that things are going well and if there are any problems to address them right away. Um, there is a group of students called student ambassadors. There are about 50 of the student ambassadors and these are students who have volunteered to work with the international student program to plan after school activities and after school and uh, weekend activities and weekend trips. And these students also participate in these activities with our international students. So throughout the day and on the weekends, uh, you will be surrounded by um, native speaking, uh, American students, as well as uh, international students from many countries. So do you have any internship for international students? We do. That's a very unusual program at our school. We have a program for 11th and 12th grade students called ISIP. That stands for Independent Study and Internship Projects. Um, and we work with students uh, to find appropriate internships um, in areas that they are interested in, perhaps as a career. Um, and so students have the opportunity to participate in an internship or an independent project for two or three weeks um, in the late winter at the end of February and early March of their 11th and 12th grade years. Uh, do you have any activity uh, after school for students? Oh, we have so many. That is something we're really known for. <laughs> um, there are all kinds of activities and clubs. Uh, more than 35 different clubs for students to join. There's a chess team. There's a Model United Nations team. There's a math team. Um, there are um, lots of activities in the arts, in music. If you play an instrument, you can be involved with band, jazz band, perhaps a combo. You might want to learn how to play the steel drums. Um, incredible variety of activities and also many sports to choose from. Thank you for your useful information. I hope that you will happiness, happiness, and thank you. 
Oh, thank you. It's so nice to be back in Vietnam. I love coming here and I love uh, meeting students and working with students from Vietnam.